Hello, welcome to my channel. If, if you're not new, welcome back. I appreciate all the views. Please like, subscribe, and share if you enjoy the three. Um, I do ascension. Um, pretty much for, for zodiacs, I do the ascension tarot more so than regular tarot because we're all going through it. Especially right now. I mean, we've got the new moon coming tomorrow night. This is going to be for Aquarius. And, uh, we got the, we, like I say, we've got the new moon tomorrow night. Which we got the heavy duty energy going on right now. So everybody just needs to take it with a grain of salt right now. And try not to get too bent. Because the energy is a push-pull on on your psyche on your body on everything so just take care of yourself self-care is really important right now if you need a nap go take a nap i mean if you, if you take care of yourselves <laughs> because <clears throat> lots going on up in up in the heavens and as above so below so it's going on down here too and uh you gotta we gotta roll with the punches. Just understand that it's not you. It's the energy. And uh, you'll get through it a lot easier. Just take a deep breath. And when somebody gets bent with you, just kind of take a deep breath and walk away. And say, oh, it's the energy. Aquarius. Okay, your first card out is going to be in reality beyond appearances, and the second card is spirit's advice, and the third card is the best possible outcome. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind, because this is a general read. Um, like I said, these are mainly ascension cards, so... That's what they concentrate on. This is your first card. Illusion. So this is the reality beyond appearances. I'll read them to you because it just, they make more sense when you read. Uh, I can explain that to you, but I would prefer to read it out of them. Because they all, they all end up tying together in every read. Oh, that's too many cards. Too many cards. You only need spirit's advice and sign off. Okay. They pretty much sync up every time, so I must be doing it right. I love these cards. They tell a story. I like the stories they tell. Oops, there goes the second and third card. Okay. Your second card is Spirit's Advice. Alchemy. Transformation. And the third card, ooh, check that out, guys. This is for my Aquarius. Power. So, it, it is the age of Aquarius now, so that doesn't surprise me. At the bottom of the deck, we have cleansing. Okay? Now I'll read them to you. I'll show them to you while I'm reading them. And we'll go through each one. And you take it from there. Like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Because not all the reads are for everybody. And if nothing resonates, then it's not for you. Simple as that. Okay? <clears throat> You have the Ten of Wind, which is illusion. 
This silly little girl is armed to the teeth against the furious imaginary rainstorm she per perceives to be lashing at her from above. In reality, there's just tiny rain cloud passing overhead, and it's a beautiful sunny day. Through the lesson of her example, she argues you to pay attention. What are you holding dear as your reality is likely far from the truth? It is time to expand your horizons and put out your feelers beyond your limital, limited mental perceptions <clears throat> and see the humor of your illusions. There is a bigger picture to be seen when you are no longer fooled by appearances. So don't be fooled by appearances. Because sometimes, you know, what may appear to be true is completely not. So make sure you pay attention. That's a great card. Alchemist good card. That's a transformation card. So let me see. She is the divine creative spark, the perfect energy and alchemy of ideas and forces <clears throat> that collates the into the art and into art and beauty. Bridget is cloaked in her power, standing over a boiling cauldron of creativity, generating fertility and new life. She brings the Sagittarius fire of insight and recognition and communication with the spirit world. Through her hands and beauty of artistic creation comes to earth in blessing and wisdom. Bridget inspires you to find your own divine creative spark of inspiration and let it blend in the alchemy with the creative force to manifest the power of beauty in your world. She assures success of your creative attempts, inspiring you to succeed as the artist that you truly are. I like that card. And then you got Lilith. My goodness, that's, that's a serious major account. Beautiful Lilith flies above the shackles of this world on her, on her wings of freedom. Her talon feet and her foundation of wildness and power. Lilith's fiery, independent, airy spirit is without compromise, insisting through her very nature that women are beings of equality answerable to no one. She is, a sex, she is sexual freedom and expression, a leader who empowers others. Lilith teaches you to trust your own core power, take the lead in your life, and go for it. In a full expression of your sexual energy and unbridled power of authority, you show uncompromising loyalty to your inner passion. Your own authenticity is at issue. This is the time to let loose the strength of your desire and focus on your goals to take you where you deserve to be. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you went from, this is the best outcome. Take back your power, pretty much. It's like, take, take whatever this is that, that you're holding on so tightly to that might not even be real and transmute it into love and creativity and if you do that you get your power back and that could be a power of anything that could be you know um, pretty much just just your your personal power having being living in your living in your own power instead of somebody else's being who you are all right and crowning the whole read we have Scorpio part five of C's cleansing Um, this is the symbol of fertility, 
Frogs are the goddess symbols of fertility, bringing regeneration and healing. In order to heal, sorrow, grief, and guilt must be released through the cleansing waters of love and purification. Frog calls forth the powerful rains that wash us free of emotional pain. Let tears come to release the, so the flow of sorrow. These emotional storms bring the lightning bolts which shatter the human illusions held dear, so that what is true may emerge in its own time. The Frog Mandela reminds you to stay at your center during the times of emotional shift and release the loss and disappointment. Through this cleansing of your heart, you will be whole once more. Wow. That's a special message for someone. Like I said, I don't, I don't know, everybody's story is different, so however it resonates with you. A queen angel or a card, this is for Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising. See what the angels got to say about all this. A lot of times it clarifies the whole read. So let's see what it says. Right. All right, Aquarius and Moonizing. Now remember, the new moon and the energies in the air, they're not you. They're, they're just, they're push pull energy try to mind your thoughts because they're probably not real that's what that's what this card is saying pretty much just mind your thoughts because the reality is not what you think it is Say you got a girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or wife and you think they're cheating on you or, or you think things are going really bad for you. The reality is they're probably not. In any situation, you can alchemize through the heart and create the life that you want. And that's what I'm saying. Create the life that you want with the alchemy and the power card. You cleanse it with love. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Come on, angels. I know you got you got something to say. So let's let's see what you got. Come on, let's see what you got. Aquarius. Sorry you guys, still getting used to flipping these cards around. They come out on their own though. There goes one. Let's see what it says. Okay. Oh wow. Any of y'all think you're doing energy work? What have I been talking about through this whole video? The energy. So, this is saying energy work. Let's read it together. Life can be electri electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So that means, Aquarius, you are activated healers. So, what you think is real may not be real. Alchemize it 
through the heart and creativeness. Get your power back. Transmute your world. And the angels are saying that you have the hands to heal. So maybe you ought to think about doing some energy work. Helping heal people through energy because that's what we are. And we're going to find out who we truly are over the course of the next seven years. The next two years are going to be heavy duty. So just hang in there. Let it flow, babies. Let it flow. All right? Well, that was your read, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you did. And, um, yeah. Have a great couple of weeks, and I'll see you around the 13th and 14th, okay? Bye-bye.